give me uh, Matthew 24. Talks about the last days. Matter of fact, give me the last days as it comes scoffers. Uh, after their own lust. In the last days, that Peter's. In the last days, it's, it's, uh come scoffers. All right. You know, as, the, as the, the elders always say, you know, as we're getting closer toward the end, we got to get even uh, more, you know, wiser, stronger, and be on the lookout for things that can pull us out of the truth and slow us I down got and affect us. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, second Peter's, hey brothers, if you got the precept, you gotta call it out. All right, don't just stand there idle. Just call it out and get it. This is uh, Second Peter's, chapter three, verse one. It says, "This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in which both I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of the apostles." Right. Be, be mindful of what was said before. Like it says, uh, Isaiah said, uh, show yourselves men, bring it again to mind. Yeah, Go back to things of old. Yeah. All right? So, uh, fly one of you. Uh, uh, so we got to remember, he, he's leaning. We got to remember the, the things of old. All right? Those, that, that, that's our foundation. The, the, the Lord, which is the, the law, the prophecies, the Lord made perfect. The thing that was imperfect was, was us. Is uh, the book of Romans 15 and 4. But whatsoever things were written afore time were written for our learning. Right, and Esau, he's coming in trying to change the, uh, what the prophecy. He's trying to say uh, uh, God blessed the, uh, what are you saying? God made the scientists. He blessed yeah. the scientists to, uh, to make drugs. Right. You know? That's nowhere in the scriptures that he blessed the scientists to make drugs to heal us. The Lord said we get the medicines out of the earth. Right. Those are actually witches. Right. All right, you can't even sue them either. It's hard, very, very difficult to sue uh, those drug companies, especially when they're uh, approved by the government on one level. And then when they get full approval, it's going to be even harder to, uh, to sue them. All right? So why would you trust a company that you can't even sue them for a bad product? Yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Curse be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his, his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Right, because when you trust in these different drugs, you trust, you're not trusting in, in the Most High or His Son. All right, this is why these people that, that I want to go back to the, the first one. Yeah, 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 I got it. Uh, that's, that's why no. the, 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 the Christians, the fake Christians, but they're not really Christians, they trust in, the, in, uh, in man. They trust in a system that was set up by the devil, by Satan. Yeah. There's more on that? Uh, nope, that's it. I was just gonna grab one more. I'm gonna go right back. Look, you know, we, we just build it on that. Uh, real quick. This is uh, the book of uh, Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So is his wickedness. Right, then it talks about being wiped away. Finished, 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 finished. Of course, yeah. of course. And you got to remember, uh, when iron rusts, that's the sign of corrosion or decay. So that's how it is when he humbles himself, as the scripture is going to say. He tries to bear and gain the advantage over you by coming subtly. Hey, this is for your benefit. Oh, the Most High made this. They gave us the, te the technology, okay? Little do you know, the ulterior motive is to destroy you. Like I did the video last night. A sick people can't fight or stand up for themselves. That's why they want you sick. They want you just barely functional so that they can continue to control you. You see, these people are totally under a spell. They're bewitched. All right? And that's because of the, the food, the GMO food, the poisons in the air. It's all destroying the mind. And every day, you're watching that goddamn uh, television programming, and the word medium or media means to convey a spiritual message or the conveying of spiritual messages. So all day, they're putting your uh, mind in a certain uh, spirit, all right? Deception, lies. It says, though he humbleth himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass. Like, go crouching, that means he's making things free and very cheap so you can get it. You know, I had a, uh, I might have said last week, I had an uncle, somebody at his, at his job got sick, 
and died. So we took the whole family to go get to the Walmart to get the shot. You know? That's crazy. And before that, they weren't they weren't fucking too concerned about it. Right. But somebody at the job died, yeah. and so we took his my aunt and his my, my cousin to, to, to get their first shot. They gotta get another one. Telling you things will go back to normal. Bullshit. Yeah, dude, things ain't gonna go back to normal. Even if they do, it's gonna be completely different. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna live. We're gonna have a complete different view on our government, what they can do. You know, it's not it's not likely that it's gonna go back to normal. Right. But if it does, it's gonna be different. I, I can't see it going back to normal because of how long it's gone so far, it, it, it'll be weird itself if it would go back to normal. Well, well, let's put it this way. They already have 158 million U.S. citizens supposedly jabbed up. They got at least one or two jabs and they're still not pulling back on restrictions. Right. So from that, you can gauge that there is no return back to whatever normal was before all of this was going on. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't count on it going back. So you trying no. to bet whether it's going to go back or it's going to stay the same. I would count more so it's going to stay the same right. and get progressively worse, then it's going to go back, right. you know? Well, it's a, it's, a goal, it's a global initiative to put every country under the subjection of the NWO. That's why every country got their version of a health pass, because that's going to be the standard, all right? No social life, no, no going to public venue, no restaurants, no bars, no interactions, no weddings, no worship unless you prove and authentically prove through the ID or the digital health pass that you've got the jabs, all right? That you got the first, the second, and a booster, all right? And that's a blueprint for the MOTV, you know? That's, that's what you can extrapolate from, from what's going on right now. And furthermore, it's not just in isolated countries, it's happening everywhere, you know? And then where it's not happening, Esau's forcing it upon the people. You know, like they did with the Haitian president. They didn't want the jabs, he ended up dead, and now they, you know, got all those vaccines over there. But, uh... Yeah, and they're supposed to be uh, Catholics too, right? Because, uh, and, you know, the, uh, the church said that uh, there's no scripture says that you shouldn't take it. But that's a lie. They actually punished him. Yeah, uh, and, and, that's, and that's a complete direct lie. All right, but the church says there's there's nothing there's there's no uh, there's no religious exemption. I believe the Catholic Church said that there's nothing yeah. uh, amoral about it. If I'm not mistaken, I, yeah. I believe a, pat, a priest did an interview yeah. somewhere, or maybe more than one yeah. priest. Yeah. You yeah. Said, yeah. So, but the thing is, to us, that's unethical too to, uh, to take to take drugs like that, especially in exchange for uh, like the prizes, cash. Right. Incentives. That, that's a, that's yeah. an, that's an, that's, an, that's unethical. All right. But for some reason, doctors all of a sudden. Their ethics changed, you know? Right. Read it on, it says, Though he humbleth himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, that rust is his wickedness, his evil, his plots, all right? Right. So if, so if the, the item doesn't have rust, that means it's righteous, it's clean, or it's the way it's supposed to be, right? All right? When it got that rust, that, that represents the evil, his deception, all right? thought it was clean from the rust but right. now but you look at it again waited for a little while then you seen that oh this dude is really the devil right right he can't be trusted right all right and remember this is not the refined i think i said this last week this is not this is not the refined edomite uh, he's not he's not uh reformed he's still the same devil he was he just changed switch it up a little bit so he could get more uh destroy more souls so to speak Right, uh, going back to Romans 15 and 4, it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. Yep. The things that were written in the past were written so we wouldn't make the same mistakes again. So, and, and, Or if we made the same mistakes, we could uh, get out of those those errors faster and be, become productive again. Now, if you remember the idolatry of our forefathers, so we ain't supposed to chip each other out of there, the devil. So you ain't supposed to uh, worship this, this fucking wild beast no more. Alright? Uh, come get the signs. One of your brothers come get the signs, man. You ain't supposed to worship this dude. This dude is Satan. Alright? And this is the picture that's, that's behind the, uh, the, the drug. Alright? When you think of this, the, the church and the drug, you think of this guy. Alright? You don't, you don't think of uh, of Yahweh Shaggy. This is a false guy. Right. This is a false, false guy. All right, you worship this fucking devil, he's the false guy. 
He's going to lead you to, 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 to the pits of hell, and that's a miracle on fire. Right. All right? This is a false god. Right. And this image is not biblical. Is it on there? Yeah. Yeah, it says this image is not biblical. Right. Everybody likes the sun. Yeah. I'll use it. This image is not biblical. All right? You know this image is not biblical, right? He wasn't olive color. He was dark brown skin. All right? He wasn't olive color. He was dark. That's right. Black. Okay? You say the slang would be black. Right. All right? But he's dark brown skin. All right? From the tribe of Judah. All right? God. This is uh, the book. It wasn't this fucking devil. All right? Let me see that. Can read for it? Read. This is the book of uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that shall come in the last days, scoffers. Last days, scoffers. Right? Walking after their own lusts. Right? They don't know the scriptures. That uh, don't, don't have a zero. Uh, you don't have these people don't have a, a spiritual bone in your body. All right, your spiritually, your spiritual retards. All right. Right. The Lord only raised up an elect. To preach the word. This is why the, the, the church, the main the mainstream church, they don't have the truth. Even the ones that are all into the Bible, they don't they don't have the truth. This but, is uh the book of First Corinthians chapter two and verse thirteen. It says, Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Well, yeah, this, this would be man's wisdom. He'll, he'll teach you to take all uh, types of drugs. All right, there's an actual man that lived here, Jesuit Borgia. All right, you could say this is a uh, Satan incarnate. All right, this, yeah. th these are Satan's uh, children, the Edomites. All right, and if you worship this image, that means you're a, de you're a devil worshiper. All right. Let's see if this on. That's it. See all right. Make sure, you, make sure you get the devil. The, uh, get, get your father. All right, you're supposed to be good Catholics, right? Get the, the Catholics work, worship worship this image, the devel. devil. That means you're a Satan worshiper. Uh, brother, give me, worship uh, the, the damn devil. Paper, like this, okay? Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, hold on, hold on. This is uh, back in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and 14. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High. Like the brother said, you're uh, spiritually disabled or spiritually retarded. You know, right? That's it. Yeah, man. <laughs> it says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Right, foolishness, right? What we doing, if you look at us, what we doing is foolishness, right? Right. When they walk, someone walk past, they can put their mask up because they don't know how, they don't trust in the Lord to keep them from respiratory illnesses. You know, to whom, to whom it may apply. You know, they're, they're, they they walk around scared, scared of shit all the time. You can walk around scared of every damn thing. To breathe. Yeah, scared, you scared to breathe. Yeah. You got people driving in their cars with their damn mask on, and some of them worship this guy. Yeah. This fucking devil. All right, which he's he done, he does nothing beneficial for our, for our people. Right? This is not this is not this is not a benefit to worship this devil. Alright? This is a curse. Alright? And if you continue to worship this image, you buy down to this image, you're gonna receive your reward, which is gonna be uh, hellfire, which is nuclear fire and fire from the chariots that are gonna come from these other countries, and they're gonna turn your, your, your flesh into ashes, into dust. Alright? Then you're gonna receive your, your judgment in the next kingdom. Right. Good. But they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Well, he that is spiritual, meaning you you got uh, your personal relationship with the whole with the Father, with the Yahweh Shah, with the Holy Spirit. Alright? If every brother has to have their, their, their relationship with the Spirit, meaning that you understand the scriptures when brothers speak, you connect it, you have your own spiritual uh, dreams, spiritual experiences. This is what links you to Yahweh Shai. All right, you come down here, you listen, but you but when you go home, you still link to the Holy Spirit. All right, you got some guys that come out and they they talk, they disconnected. They come out here they, and they fake. All right, you got some guys that are good actors too. 
they come out, they, they talk real loud, they yell, they, they curse Esau out. Some of them like to get on the black woman every now and again. Right. But they're, they're not connected to the Holy Spirit. All right? Yeah. And right. time would tell. Time would tell. You have brothers that, that used to be a part of our camp. You know, I'm thinking of a few right now. All right? That are with some, some rogue weirdos. That get gathering up the, uh, the, the weak ass. Why, why, why would you ally yourself with weak people? Like like this the feminist movement. Why would you ally ally with feminists? They're gonna lose in the end. Yeah. Why would you ally with a goddamn weak weak ass, uh, cha fickle, changeable That's thing? They're gonna lose in the end. They're gonna be a. They're gonna be. A lot of them are gonna be erased. So why would you go back up a damn uh, that ideology? Same thing in this truth. Don't don't back weak ass spirited people that can't do shit. Cause you're gonna fail. What? Yeah, Con, it says, uh, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. He himself is And the word uh, you know, judge means discern or to distinguish, to separate, to tell the difference between. Yeah, it's not our it's not our job to be friendly with everybody. Our job right. is to teach the gospel and right. get with like-minded individuals who are doing the same things. Right. You know, we have we haven't been commissioned to be everybody's friend. Right. Only that we should teach the truth. Okay? And, and, and preach the gospel. You know? And and link with those that are actually avidly doing the same thing. Right, that actually not, give a shit. Yeah, you know? That are firm, you know? You got a lot of guys that are what's that? Wavering. Very wavering. Double minded, lukewarm, lukewarm. Right. They're not steadfast. You know? Right. You gotta make up your mind. You gotta, what you say if you don't stand for, uh, if, you, if you for everybody, you're, not, you're for nobody. Right. Well, yeah, if you, you, gotta, if you, if you don't, if you stand for nothing, you'll right. fall for anything. Right. Yeah. You gotta pick a side. You gotta pick a team. All right. You either with this ideology or you with another ideology. Right. Well, don't, well, don't mean don't mean you with us. Well, look, but you gotta pick a pick a side. That's why they say you are the company that you keep. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the scriptures tell you that. That's why the, I quote it: "Be with like-minded men." Right. All right. If you want to be successful, you don't get with a bunch of fucking losers that don't got no money and they can't give you no guidance on how to be successful. It's right. fucking stupid. You get with the guys that they get, talk it, they walk it, and you can learn something from them because they've already been through the experiences to guide you. And you, you and you extrapolate from that. You and pull you feed from off that. The, the energy of the other right. brother. Right. Like, if you around like a bro, like a bro, you said a broke dude, you're gonna start doing broke dudes shit. Broke, yeah. Yeah. If you around with brothers that get money, then you gonna start to take their advice and right. start to see how they make money. And and you be like, okay, why am I keep doing this? Trade time for money, and, and I'm trading all the time for this little right. bit of money. Right. There gotta be something else I can do. Right. Because you see the other brothers doing. It. Right. You adopt. Uh, you adopt that mindset. Right. Yeah. 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 Gun. That that was it on that. Yeah. Yep. Um, I had a preset. Oh, read, read, uh, was it more on that? Uh, that? That was on uh, spiritual. Uh, I got a preset right here I'm going to read real quick. Okay, Con. Uh, read this, read it. Con, this is, um, this is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15. Yep. It says, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Right, that's right. You got to vet a, a brother. All right? You got to, you got to vet brothers to, let, to see if they actually serious. Serious. Now again, there's only but so much you know vetting you can do on anything, but you, that's why you have counsel, all right? You have counsel, all right? Because you might not be able to make the decision on your own, but you might not be wise enough, or you might want a second opinion. Like if you got cancer, remember the boy said you got cancer now? You gotta get a second opinion. This don't go into fucking surgery. Oh, uh, ball, be, yeah. be mediocre. Yeah, like why the fuck would you? Why would you go and go get surgery? No, that's his. But you know what, bro? I felt bad for the dude. Until I found out that he's an atheist. Oh, yeah? He's an atheist. Everybody up on the comments saying, stop stop saying that you're going to pray for the dude because he's an atheist. I didn't even know that. I didn't know yeah, that I didn't know that either. And that seemed like a cool dude because I'm thinking, man, you know, he got a lot of experience. He got a lot of, you know. That shows you he's an actual fool. A lot of, a lot of information. If he went through it, certain. And I started, I started to feel bad for him, you know. I thought maybe there'd be a little hope for dude, you know. And maybe this is his, maybe this is his wake-up call. No. Left yeah, can not the Lord, you, you thought you were gonna pump yourself up against the Lord and say, ah, there ain't no God. Or if there is, you know what I mean? And now the Lord took your nuts from you. Right. That's that if you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about that for a second, if, man. If he's not scamming, no. 
You know what I mean? Like that's your manhood. And his whole channel is about investing in masculinity and, and you know being you know balanced. And now and now the Lord, you know, yeah, if he ain't scamming or whatever. But he seemed like he's genuine though. You know what I mean? He got a lot of support within the manosphere or whatever. Definitely but then when I see he was an atheist, I'm like, well, no fucking wonder. That, that, it makes sense now. You know, you, you're proud, bro. That's what it is. You you have a, you come off as humble, but really you proud. Because in your mind, you're saying if there's no God, you're a fool, man. There's no evidence. That may be like, like there's no evidence. Which that's a lie. It is right. evidence, but. Well, that's, a, that's that strong delusion. The Lord said that he shall send you strong delusion that you should believe a lie. There's plenty of evidence, but if you don't have the eyes to see, then you're out here blind. You ain't gonna see. And, that, and there's a reason for that. See, that's that's the thing. The reason why you don't see what it is that we're saying, even though we're publicly declaring it to you, we have all the sufficient evidence, we qualify everything to the word, but you're still standing there saying, nah. Well, the reason why you're saying that is because the Lord ain't dealing with you. You you not you didn't receive mercy. You didn't receive mercy. To get the faith, to believe in the ministry is mercy. And it's clear that the Lord got his target on a lot of people's back, man. And that's what the scriptures say, that the slain of the Lord shall be many. So it puts things into perspective. Like, he could have been one of them dudes back in the day that didn't believe in your outside. Right. You know? Like he got a lot of corner wisdom, but at the end of the day, if it ain't, you know, rooted in the spirit, it doesn't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. It really don't mean nothing. It's only going to get you so far. It ain't going to deliver you. The Lord's weighing the hearts of men pursuant to their faith. And he don't have any. So your bank account is negative balance. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Slack, go ahead. Yeah, he said uh, surgery was scheduled tomorrow. I'm yeah. like, I don't think he went through it. I don't think he went That's kind of stupid. Does it just go, go with right, the surgery? Right into like that. That? That's to jump right into stupid. it. He already had cancer supposedly all the time before, but yeah, he gonna make a snap decision. He might, he might be scammed. I don't know if he put it up with another video lately, but that's the last video I saw. Hey, I don't really watch him like that, but I seen that. I seen that. I seen, that. I seen, that. I seen people talking about him. So, oh shit, let me. Uh, Actually, out of any guys lately, he, he, the, he the main guy that you know I throw on. Cause that, you gotta you gotta watch these channels in doses. Can't be sitting there consuming Kevin Kevin Samuels all fucking day and. Uh, uh, Coach Greg Adams, which I like Coach, Coach Greg Adams, Coach. Donovan Sharp. You know, you can only tolerate so much of that bullshit, man. Because all they talk about is fucking women. You can't be listening to that shit all day. You know? We got more important things to be worried about. Them women are going to come to us any damn way right. at the end of the day. Right. I had, I had the vision. I told it a couple weeks ago. I had, I had the vision. Uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, for concerning that guy, this is out of the book of Psalms, chapter 14, verse 1. It says to the chief musician, a song of David, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. They are. He's a fool. 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 He's so if you like the scripture say Isaiah 13, if you join unto the wicked, you're going to get the same reward of the wicked. Uh -huh. All right? You're not going to get that mercy. All right? Now, if you are of the elect, you're going to get, receive that mercy. But even though our righteousness is, is a filthy rags, it's still acceptable in the eyes of the Lord. All right? Because Shai show favor to his elect. That's right. All right? And we didn't do anything to, to, uh, to receive that. The Lord selected a certain group of uh, Israelites to be his elect amongst his elect. All right? So like the scriptures say, not, not of works, as any man should boast. Okay? So I'm not standing here because I did something that, that's really great. Right? Camera's pointing this way. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's not like we did anything great or I'm smart. or I'm not, I'm not smart. All right? Well, I'm a good speaker. I'm not a good speaker. It's because the Lord made it... Uh, put me in a specific position. Every brother is different. No brother is the same way. All right? Every brother has his own. You got one body in Yahweh Shai, all right? but we all got different personalities. All right? And the Lord made it that way so we can come together and we won't be a, like, like a, mon a monolith when it comes to like, like danger, uh, venting brothers, dealing with problems. All right? We all think a little differently. 
all right? So we can we, get, we can act, we actually better that way. There's another scripture says that the weaker things are more most important or more important. So the, the differences make it make us better, all right? Writing uh, a, a symphony it says more. Uh, which what is it? Um, you got more. Uh, you got consonants. You got dis dissonances. And you got uh, part partial consonances. It says more imperfect consonances than perfect consonances. Yeah, I'm recently. Yeah, well, I'm. I'm <laughs> yeah, see his oh, yeah, yeah, recent. I'll see. But that's it. Hang on, hang on, tell it, bro. They'd have no right. They have no yeah, right yeah, to do no. that. He's playing part. Let's, let's watch it now. But go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. You guys said you had a pretty simple. Yeah, come on, come on. Ephesians two, verse eight. For by grace ye are saved through faith, and, and that not of yourselves is the gift of the Most High. By grace you are saved. It's a gift. It's not uh, something that we did or, you know, we, we figured something out. The Lord literally led us to Yahweh Shai. And our lives before, the Lord was building us up to get to find, to find the truth. Because right, you might, brothers may have uh, led a certain type of lifestyle yeah, before they came to the truth. That was just, that was just how I was shy, preparing you to come to the truth. You may, you may have encountered certain people, avoided certain dangers. That's so the Lord, the Lord can bring you straight to, straight to the truth. All right, and remember, you're developing this relationship with the Lord yourself, so you can't blame us. Oh, I was following these guys for all these years. No, you got the relationship with the, with the Lord yourself. It's not our fault because you all of a sudden got a fucking epiphany that you don't want to be with us no more. You got the relationship with yourself. You're responsible for yourself. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, re re read that again. Uh, finish that. Uh, back in the book of Psalms. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 14, starting at verse 1. It says to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the fool. It says, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Even though they might perceive to be decent people, they're really, they're really evil. Because right, when it comes down to the wire, their ideologies, their thoughts, their processes, is different. All right, so you can't trust a dude like that. And a lot of them are in your families, too. All right, that believe in, in this, this dude, Jessica Borgia, or a facsimile of him. Shit, you might not believe directly in this guy, but you got a, you got a lot of undertones, overtones to this guy. All right. That was it, right? right well. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 9. I'm going to start at 13. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Esau is the so-called white man. Right. All right. That's the core of Esau. Right. All right. They, they, they had certain they, physical features for the main part. Look like uh, well, Alistair Crowley. Look right. like that. Look like uh, George Bush. All right. For the, for the, for the main part. All right. Go ahead. As it is written. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Yep. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Yeah, because the Most High hates, because Yahweh Shai hates. Is there unrighteousness? No, the answer is no. Yahweh Shai are righteous with hate in their heart. But God, it says, God forbid, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. It is not of him that willeth, or him that runneth, meaning runneth meaning doing the work, okay? So it's not because we're doing the work that we're, that we're uh, special. It's because the Lord made us made us special. You got, you got a question, sir? You have a question? Sir, you got a question? You got a question? No. Okay. What you got, son? What you got? Jacob Esau? You said where your church is. Where is your church? Oh, yeah, where church was. Right, right here. Uh, no, we don't really require a building. A building will only be for like a studio show for like vigorous studies or whatever. Right here, we just get the information raw. 
do you take notes if, if you don't keep, keep a metal Rolodex? Or really, it's, it's online, so you can just rip the video and you download it or favorite it or have it in your history and then watch the video. And then certain things you'll commit to memory, certain things you'll forget, you just keep doing it over and over again until you get it. Go ahead. Constant repetition is the father of all skill. Right, that's why I had the book of Deuteronomy, which means, I believe, second law. If I'm not mistaken, Deuteronomy means second law. This is uh, the book of Romans 9 and 16 again. So that it is not him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Right, and he hardened Pharaoh's heart. He hardened Pharaoh's heart. Right, Pharaoh was about to, about to let the people go, but then he, then he hardened his heart. So that, that shows you, like the script of Proverbs say, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. I believe it's in Proverbs. Yeah, turn yeah, it, turn, uh, turn it Proverbs 21 and 1. Yeah, we turn it to whoever we You get Proverbs 21 and 1. So when the Lord wants something to be done, it's going to be done. All right? Right. I did a video on the uh, so-called Jews about to get put to death, but he only got shot once, and then the gun jammed, I think, two, three more times. And then, then the, uh, the dude left. So it wasn't that, that it wasn't his uh, day to die that day. I believe the guy's name was uh, something gold, so he's so-called Jew. The Lord didn't want him to die that day. So... Our faith is in Yahweh Shai, all right? That's where our confidence is. All right? our, our, our faith is in, is in Yahweh Shai. And, and we received that faith from Him. And not something that we, uh, well, we built it up as of right now, but initially it was completely organic. Yeah? But right now it, we have a, uh, you know, the more times you win and win and win and win, the more confidence you get. So the Lord gave us a lot of wins. A lot of wins. We got, we got some losses. The Lord gave us a lot of, so we, so we kept, the Lord kept affirming, affirm, watch our back, watch our back. The Lord, the Lord kept affirming that this was the truth, this was the truth, this was the truth. All right? Through uh, what, dreams, visions, encounters with other, with other brothers, all right? Weird coincidences, all right? The Lord affirmed. You got, you got a question, sir? You looked over here. You got a, you got a question? How about Shimei was shy, said that he was going to give his elect, the small, a small group. Give me that in Ezekiel. Yeah. The, the sanctuary of the Lord's house. Yeah. Small group. Oh, little sanctuary? Little sanctuary, yeah. yeah. Little sanctuary. Yeah, there's a little more on this. It says, um, for the scripture saith, this is uh, Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my, my power in thee. And that thy name might be declared, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, and the Lord raising his elect up. That that's a, uh, well, that instance he's reading about is a uh, notable power. And the Lord waking uh, brothers up to the truth of our heritage, our, our biblical identity, our actual identity. That's a miracle in itself. That's a, the Lord definitely showing his power right there. Because before this, we were. What, whatever Esau uh, called, called us, whatever, uh, yeah, bywords, whatever nation or country that's currently named in the 20th century today, that's what we're calling ourselves with, with, with a slash of American or whatever. Right. Got a right. quick, uh, yeah. something I want to say. Yeah, and just another th uh, thing to point out is that every nation as well as individual has a specific role to play. And that role is based upon the will of the Heavenly Father. So what the scripture is outlining is I raised Pharaoh up, I gave him power, I made him to rule with rigor over the Israelites, but that was just to demonstrate what followed, which what followed. He hardened Pharaoh's heart, and that was all according to will of the Lord, so he was lifted up with pride, he, uh, he continued to persecute Israel, and then the Lord demonstrated his power again, but even greater through Moses, to the point where we left Egypt in strength, with riches, so that's the power of the Lord. And neither the, Pharaoh, uh, the Egyptians or Pharaoh or the Israelites or Moses had any control. They did exactly what they were set up to do through predestination. So that's why, like we read previously, it's not he who willeth or he who runneth, but rather the Most High's will. You know? 
we're basically utensils. E Esau, Esau is a utensil to promote wickedness and evil acts, while Jacob, beginning with the 144,000, the elect, the governmental body, is used as a utensil to push the prophecies and to build up the tabernacle of David that is falling to usher in the kingdom of heaven. Because we're getting ready to exodus a second time out of spiritual Egypt. You understand? And there ain't nothing that Esau could do to stop it. And it's similar with Pharaoh. But all of this that we see or in witnessing and the part that we play is all a demonstration of the Most High's power. It's not a me. It's not a you. It ain't an Esau. It's all of the Most High. That's the most important thing that you could take away from this thing. And most people really are convinced in their own mind that they're out here operating on their own accord. No, the hell you're not. How the hell could you operate on your own accord if everything was already declared from the beginning? Before you were even brought into an existence. The Lord said he declared the end from the beginning. So that means there's a predetermined outcome. How the hell could you do something outside of what is already predetermined? So that's the power of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the power of the Lord. Uh, yeah, let me uh, fi finish this. Oh, you know what, brother? Uh, read, read that real Proverbs quick. Proverbs 20, verse 24. And you come with yours. Man's goings of the Lord. There you go. How can a man then understand his own way? Because the Lord put, made that path for us. Uh, he's all, almighty, all powerful, omnipresent. There's just only one more. Omnipotent. Right, right, yeah, right. So. Gun, uh, just let me finish this real quick. Reading on, it says, For this scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Because when the rest of the world see the Egyptians being overthrown, and Israel coming out with great substance, they talked about that. Like, oh man, look at what the Lord did. And see, the people are gonna, getting ready to talk again. When they see brothers doing mighty, wonderful works through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, they're going to be like, oh shit, they are the Israelites. Oh, their power is the Most High, right? Where it said that they are not a people, there it shall be said, they are the people of the Most High. So last verse, it says, Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Whom he will, he hardens. Yeah, so if, like you, if you can't understand something, the Lord can harden you. Well, he hardened you for not to understand that, that subject. Stumbling block. Huh? Yeah, the Lord could put a stumbling block in your way. And see, sometimes the Lord will do that intentionally. You could be a, a spiritual brother, and the Lord will put a, a stumbling block right in your way. You'd be, damn, is the Lord dealing with me? The Lord testing you. I, straight up. That's why you can't, you, can't get, you can't lose your wits because you're not coming into understanding something right away. What's this whole thing about? Patience. The whole thing's about patience. So the Lord wants to see, okay, so what are you going to do? Ah, oh, Lord ain't doing, because that will overthrow certain faith. Ah, this ain't, this ain't what I thought it was, uh, you know? But the Lord just pulling back a little bit to test you. The Lord gets pleasure in testing you. Testing something is proving the quality or value of something. That's why it says that acceptable men go through the furnace of adversity. That's a, that's a form of adversity. A lot of what we deal with is in the mind. It's not, it's not, it's the flesh too, but it's really in the mind. That's why they say in the world, it's a saying, it's not what happens to you, it's how you react to it. You can make a, situ a situation much worse when you start bugging out, start flipping out, oh man, fuck this fucking shit, man. What do you do? You make things worse. You end up hurting your damn self, you know? But, but yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that's why, yeah, like the brother said, the most I can harden your heart, but he could also open it back up so you can receive what you need to receive to be built up. But for Esau, he's totally hardened. That's why the Lord said, look, the pot of thine heart has deceived thee. And then he reminded him where he came from, what his origins really are. Thou that uh, dwellest in the cleft of the rock. He reminded him, hey, you, you a base man. I put you in power. You got you to gotta really look into the wording. When the Lord says stuff, you got to look into the wording. It's not blanketed statements. He said, oh, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Caveman. Caveman. Base. Vile. And it got cleaned up because the Lord took the beast spirit off him to be a, uh, a wild animal in that respect. But still, they still the, they still the wicked. Right, right. They just came out the caves and they shaved their beards off. Right. Shaved the hair off their, all, all, off their body and they put a, a, a toga on, some clothes. Huh? And... 
now they've deceived the whole world to believing that they're uh, righteous, good people, and they're not. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I got that. I got that. Uh, yeah, get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Can you read this? Can't read This is Ezekiel chapter eleven, verse sixteen. It says, therefore, say, thus said Yahweh the Most High, although I have cast them far off among the heathen. And although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Right, a little sanctuary. So don't so so for the most most part we're gonna be uh broken off broken off into small groups. You're not gonna see uh at least in the uh right now, most camps probably got like five or ten ten brothers. We don't have like uh 30, 50, 100, like 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 the church got, like the, the pseudo Christian church got. You know, there's certain camps that got that are, that are bigger camps that got 20, 20, 30 brothers. Right. But the main part, yeah, like five, five, ten brothers in the camp. Right? And that's how it's supposed to be. And then when they start catching hell, when you start turning the fire up on them, that's when you're going to start seeing more brothers come to the feet. All right. But right now, a lot of them just watching, watching, watching it the YouTube videos in the house. Some of them are still always sleep, but it's going to come a time where the Lord going to draw them to the world. And every brother's gonna come in at their proper time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I got I got a precept then too. All right, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 3. And I will gather the remnant, or uh, the Shariah, our remnant, which is the rest of the remainder, of my flock out of the, all the countries, whether I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and in increase. Right. They should be fruitful and increase. Because right? the, the curse is the thing that divided us. But the, the, the Lord's Spirit, yeah. the Shai Spirit is the thing that, that gathers, that is gathering us. Right? This is why we know like different groups, different camps, they have a different spirit. Yeah. This is why we can't be together. So when they have the same spirit, then that's where you're going to come together. But right now, they have a different spirit. Yeah. You know what I'm Yeah. Okay, Khan, uh, to back up the fact that there's going to be a remnant, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Yep, one of a city, two of a family, yeah. and the Lord is going to deliver, deliver right. his elect. Right. All right, so within that family, you're going to have a small right. number. Right. Exactly. Really, in most of the families, you're not going to have any, but uh, because in America anyway, in Babylon, because you have two thirds that are going to be destroyed. But within the, uh, the brotherhood, you're going to have certain uh, bro uh, brothers that are going to come to the faith with their family, with the actual brother, or with the cousin, or with their father, or with their son. They're going to come to the faith. You know, actually, be serious. You know, but you ain't supposed to just throw your, your children in and your cousins in into the faith just because they slightly interest. And that's what most of our people are. They kind of, they kind of interested. They're not really, really serious. Right? You got to ded dedicate, you know, a certain amount of time to the faith. Now, shit gonna happen, but your overall spirit, your overall, overall work ethic has to be dedicated to uh, pushing the word. But the main thing is street, uh, street teaching. Then you do a few videos during the week in the uh, in your home, all right, or or from uh, other location. All right. That was it. Yep, that was it on that. Uh, this is um, no, no. this is the Book of Psalms, chapter seventy-eight and uh, thirty-four. Uh, I'm gonna start at thirty-three. It says, therefore, their days did he consume in vanity, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned and inquired right. early after the Most High. Yeah, when he when he slew them, then they they, they uh, started to, to run and get the, the, for the truth. I like if an order come out from my elders, you know, and they say a certain thing, and then you have certain people that got to leave the camp. All right, you want to make sure that that you're not on that 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 chopping block. All right, or you're not uh, even looked at as a potential candidate to be uh, cut off from the body. Yeah. Right? You want to want to be under the radar. I believe somebody said something about being under the radar. And a text message, something like that. One of the messages being under the radar. Alright, so 
So that's what you want to be. You want to be under the, under the radar. So you won't be looked at as a potential person to get cut off from the body. Yeah. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way. When kiss means to embrace, yep. take hold of. Right. So this would be when we do the lessons, when you're keeping the commandments, when you're doing what's accept, uh, expected of you in the faith, that's an example of kissing the sun. All right? I don't know why that robot was smiling at you. What, what, a female? Yeah, yeah she was uh, walking with a man though. She's smiling at the sign or something. Well, he probably yeah, gonna get destroyed. Nah. She's smiling at the, at the sign or at the brothers. I, I, don't, I didn't it was, see it, so I hate. It was weird. Like, I, like watch it's this smile. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny. Well, we vibrate. We vibrate. We vibrate. They can't contain themselves. That's stupid. Remember the brick? They used to chip over. Remember the brick right there? Yeah. They chip over the brick. And like five, six people, they get walk and they just trip. Yep. And they probably talk shit in their head. Just trip over that, that brick right there. Come on. Go ahead. This, uh, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. Right. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Right. But, but, a, but a little. Yeah. But remember, I believe it's written somewhere that one angel had the power to destroy the earth. Paraphrase, I don't care exactly what it say. But that's how powerful the angels are. Right. And when the, when the Lord speaks, he puts the issues fire out. Fire. Right? All right. And when the Lord speaks, it's so terrifying you, you want him to stop speaking. All right, we, we, we want to be on the, the good side of Yahweh Shai. We're going to put forth those works that, so that we're blameless. But we're going to mess up, but again, we got a repertoire that we can go back to like that. Okay, remember remember these works, remember these works. So when the, the judgment come, we can at least have some confidence. Right. Then we ain't going to get slaughtered. The death angel ain't going to touch us. That reminds, like that reminds, me, yeah. that reminds me of the interaction with Job and the Most High. And the Most High yeah. told Job, like, look, are thou he that when when thou speakest, the yeah. thunders make the fountains of water and yeah, all yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And Job said, and Job said, I might speak once, yea, twice, but the third time I shall hold my peace. <laughs> yeah, man, you got you got to learn to you know acknowledge your faults, confess, and and, and you know right. and have do, confidence and have you well, yeah. You can't be telling yourself negative shit all the time. Yeah. All right, you gotta say you gotta have positive affirmations. You gotta right. constantly say you can do things. You can get this accomplished. You can get this accomplished. You know, don't be don't don't be uh, negative. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, you gotta embrace not only the fact that you're an Israelite, but if you will understand prophecy, that means something. Because prophecy is not given to everybody. So if you're able to actually understand the prophecies, that holds a lot of weight. That holds a lot of weight. You look at the world, you see how they fan their hand. They're not concerned with prophecy, but for those of us that are. You gotta embrace that and not beat yourself up all the time. Like the brother, uh, I think it was Elder Awar, he was saying you can't get down on yourself. You know? We still in this flesh, so we're gonna mess up. You do your best to mitigate unnecessary sin. But at the end of the day, we're not gonna be saved because we keep the law. We're gonna be saved because of our faith and our belief in Yahweh Bashim El especially in terms of the prophecy. So you got to embrace the fact that, wait a minute, here it is, I'm making sacrifices, right? That's why the scriptures say that thine expectation shall not be cut off. Here it is, you keep, you're keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. You're following the Sabbath, the how holy days. You're not anymore healthy with that mask. Okay? You are, you're repenting, you're repenting of your sins, right? Yeah, you feel it in the flesh, but you can't give in to those thoughts, okay? You can't give it, that's a, and that's a, that's a war with your mind. That's why even Paul said, look, I'm at war with my members. You know, your mind wants, to, wants you to believe the worst about yourself. You are your own worst enemy. And that's what really causes you to lose motivation. You don't want to move, you don't want to do nothing, you want to lay around all day, you want to drink. You're, you're, not, you're not motivated. So we need to start embracing that, wait a minute, I got the faith. I got the names. First of all, let's start there. You got the names of the Most High and His Son. The world does not have that. There's only a select that has that name, believes that name. Not to mention your labor of love and the things that you are doing. The things that, look, if you're having trouble, you need to sit down, write a list, meditate on what you want to accomplish, and figure out your action plan. What's your game plan? Right? And go from there and build. But you got to embrace. 
that you do have the understanding of the prophecies, and that means something because the world don't have that. The Lord said that my sheep hear my voice. You hear the prophecies, you're hearing the voice of the Lord, man. That means something. This is out of the book of Jeremiah, so Ramya, chapter 9 and verse 23. They got him. Esau got him. It says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Yeah, he don't got no vendor license. It says, Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Yeah, so when we glory, we, we know where the source came from. We're not arrogant or prideful in that sense. We, we would be prideful in that the Lord actually gave us the uh, knowledge and that we actually can go through with it. Right. All right? But not prideful in the negative sense. All right? Esau, he's prideful in, in the negative sense because he actually thinks that he came up with these inventions and this technology when the Lord gave that to him. Yeah. Right? So we're beat glory and in, in the, in the knowledge that the Lord gave us and that we're able to effectively use it. Right? Now, you can't use it, it don't mean nothing. Right. Right? Uh, He's on and it says that I am Yahweh, which exercises loving kindness, mashapatim or judgment, and tazadakim or righteousness, in the earth by Ratazah. For in these things, I delight, said the Lord. Right, and how do you determine what's good and evil? The, the guiding light is the Bible. That's the Bible. That's how you figure out what's righteous and and, uh, and not righteous. And if it's not in there, you should have trained elders and brothers that have experience that can come to a proper judgment. So, uh, Titus, one, I got one on one. Read down up in four. This is Titus chapter one, verse one. It says Paul, the servant of the Most High an apostle of Yahweh Shai, right. according to the faith of the Most High's elect, yeah. and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, in the hope of eternal life which the Most High that cannot lie promised before the world began. Yeah, acknowledging of the truth, okay? So we have, so, and, uh, we have to acknowledge it, meaning to admit, all right, to reveal. All Go ahead. Right. Says, but so it's meaning we're picking a side, all right? We ain't weighing in the middle. The mark of the beast is the chip. Right. All right, you got Cornelius is an Israelite. Right. All right, you got Israelites that are scattered in the other nations. You got other nations scattered in, in, in Israel too, so it works both ways. Right. All right, well, and, and a, a plethora of other things. Go ahead. It says, But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of the Most High, our Savior. Right, that, that was the point. All right, that in the last days he manifested it through preaching. All right through preaching, all right? So that's the avenue in which we're gonna, we gonna receive the word, through preaching, all right? And that's what the prophets, I believe preaching goes back to uh, prophets, yeah. prophesying, yeah. all right? So when you hear the, the prophets speak, all right, you listen to what the prophets say, and then you try to, try to live a, a godly life according to the words of the prophet, all right? And then you verify that information with the scripture. All right, what, what the scripture say about being lukewarm? You're going to get that scripture too. Uh, Revelation 3, read that there. And what do you have real quick? It's the book of uh, Hosea chapter 6, and verse 5, and it reads, uh, ver, uh, yeah, verse 5, it says, Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. And I hewed them, meaning uh, uh, torn to pieces, hacked to pieces, and that's what? Their, their arguments. Uh. Hack their arguments to pieces. And they come up on, on some bullshit talking about their their, their, their pseudo-Christianity, their uh, their philosophy. Our God, we're not arguing some fucking other science. We're arguing yeah. the scriptures. So if you want to come on some other shit, yeah. we ain't dealing with that. Right. Like what dynasty was <laughs> Pharaoh, Robert the Bull, what dynasty was, was the uh, the Pharaoh in during the time of the Israel, uh, when we were in slaves? We don't give a shit what dynasty that, that was. Like what, what the hell? That's not going to profit us any. What, nah. di what dynasty it was? You're just trying to flex. Look, wisdom yeah, I know, yeah. And, and it, look, and if it is going to profit us, then you want to get the information and bring it back to us, right. and then tell us how it's going to tie into prophecy or it's going to make us better and wiser. I asked him that question. Did he know what Babylon the Great was? Remember, he said he, he didn't know it was America. Oh, you know okay. what I mean, well, his wisdom failed him. Right. Like it says in Ecclesiastes, yeah. when a fool goes by, we can get that too. Showed us that he was a fool. Because the fool, as he keeps talking, you'll get to see that he really don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's really a fool. Yep. Like there was one dude who used to be part of the camp. He thought it was a trick, a trick question. 
you say, break down Genesis 25, 25. And he couldn't break it down. He didn't try to refuse to eat the pizza because he said he had acne or something like that. He acted like he want to eat the pizza. <laughs> these, I'm telling you, these, 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 a lot of Israelites are just fucking remedial. All right, this is why you got to make sure that the brothers, get them out of that the brothers you're inviting to your camp are not, they have, they, they lack, they, they, the brothers that you're inviting to the camp that, that can at least, they can read, that they're spiritual, all right, and, they, and that they're they're humble enough that they can wait so they, before they start speaking, all right, you got that, that guy, all right, we call him Satan, or the devil, as soon as he came to the camp, he just wanted to, to start speaking, and, and they had the other guy too, we call him Bart Simpson or whatever, well, I call him that, uh, you know, I know exactly. Uh, he said the hell gate with, uh, not a hell gate. <laughs> tower of Babel was tower a portal to other dimensions. Yeah, Tower of Babel was a portal to other dimensions. That's crazy. All right. So, he had, that, watch he, had out. That, he had that, uh, that real hidden wisdom, you know? Yeah, it's real deep wisdom that none of, none of us knew. All right. That's super deep. That's real deep. Then you yeah, had another, super deep. <laughs> then another guy that said it was, um, base, base, alien bases on the moon. The other guy, Sean. Yeah. yeah. From Abu, Darby, money. from Abu Dhabi, yeah, she has money. His uh, wife uh, cuts his hair, gives him shape ups, cuts his hair, like, okay. Uh, he, pre he predicted a, a false prophecy on the Super Bowl. Bro, that was he's so, a crazy that was so, that was so man. bad. He, then he, then he, then that he, was so bad. then he, 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 he prophesied wrong. He, he, <laughs> he, he, the prophecy was wrong, so we got a lot of crazy nut, nut, whack, That whack shit, that might have been his last upload. Yeah, yeah, the prophecy of the Super Bowl? Yeah. Uh, it was Super Bowl, was uh, Yeah. When he once he put that out there yeah. and then he was totally yeah. wrong, I think that might have been his last. I don't yeah. know for sure. That, I'm just that, that stumped his confidence. Yeah, that's how a lot of jakes are really, really uh, remedial. So you gotta be careful about you know who you let around you because you be thinking they they eager to get to the face, but they really be remedial and they just just want to be a part of a group. Yeah, like the scriptures you say, know? an evil suspicion has overthrown the judgment. Yeah, yeah, because the people like the camaraderie, being around brothers and. That's good, but yeah. the, the, the center it, the center of this is your shot, you know? Right, well, it's the scripture yeah. say knowledge puff, puffeth up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so some of these guys, you know, like the apostles would say, they learn a few scriptures and then, you know, they want to flex. Right. Yeah. But then what happens sure. is, is they don't, they don't, yeah, they, they don't stick to what they do know and build off of it. Right. And they start, you know, guessing and, and you know, gaining evil suspicions, you know? Oh, you know, they, they, well, that, well, then this must, must mean this and that must mean that. You know? And see, the thing of it is, is when you when you first come into the faith, probably about a, a, a good year, two years, man, you, you got to really be investing your time, but you got to be doing a lot of filtering. Because you you're going to make connections that aren't really there if you're not careful. He was suspicious. Yeah, he that's did, why, that's why, that's why you really, you be taking notes the first couple of years <laughs> intensively, notes. Right? You know, working on building your, uh, your spirit up, because at the first year, you're not, you'd be lucky if you even keep uh, the Sabbath or, or, or the High Holy Days, you know? And then your second year, maybe now you, you keep it a little better. You know, you learn how to keep the Sabbath for yourself, right? And see, when you do that, what the scriptures say, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's the gateway or the key to access the deeper things in the Most High. So if you skip those steps, you know, you're only fooling yourself. You can't skip steps yeah, you can't skip in the truth. truth. Otherwise, you'll end up like the examples we just mentioned. Right. Even in the world, skipping steps to will uh, make you, uh, yeah. yeah, it'll make the lesson harder. It'll get you. It'll get you hurt. Yeah, it'll get you hurt. Imagine going to the gym one day, you know, and you put up a little weight, and the next day you go, you say, you know what, man, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to lift 300 pounds. I'm feeling good. You know, my pre-workout kicked in. You know what I mean? You looking around, you got your ego on, you got your favorite music on, and that shit going fucking bounce off your chest. You know? You see that these guys do that ego lifting shit. And that's just a carnal example for, you know, how you don't want to be spiritually. You know, don't take too much on. See, that's the thing, a guy wants to be a top speaker, the top guy, you're not ready for that responsibility. Stay in your lane, build yourself up, and then the Lord will get you to that level in due time. So you have a team, you have brothers with you that help you. You got a brother that speaks, 
Uh, yeah, brother that did scripture, every brother got their different talents. You know? Your brother that, that can look out for danger or whatever. You know? Yep. That's why you really should be by yourself. Because you have scriptures tell you that. You have crazy people that want to kill you. Why would you be by yourself? That's crazy. Alright, these people are fucking crazy. Yeah. Alright, like this woman, like old ass woman, she's crazy as shit. <laughs> Imagine the shit she eat. Yeah. You know, I'm sure she ain't a damn vegan. They ain't got that right? that's right, People are fucking crazy. Yeah, Alright? Right. Don't be by yourself. Alright? People that, that listen to us on YouTube, a lot of you are fucking crazy too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna invite you to my house. You know, a lot of these people on the internet are crazy as shit. Psychopaths. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch who you invite into your home. Right. Yeah, well, let right? not every man yeah, into your house. house. Right. Yeah. These people on YouTube, they, they're, they're crazy as shit, man. They write comments every now and again, but a lot of, a lot of you guys are fucking nuts. Don't yeah. trust, don't we'll trust y'all. Nah. Finish it yeah. up. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. And it, it reads, it says, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. Ah. All right. Judgment is, is the light. Well, it says the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. That's right. I believe it's Proverbs 7, I think. The, the reproofs of instruction is the way of life. You need to make a mistake, you get corrected, and you get and you're better. All right? Uh, uh, up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had another oh, This is Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Two are better than one because right. they have a good reward for their labor. And you got to remember, too, what did the Lord say about where he dwells? Two or three. Two or three. So, you know, it only benefits you to have, you know, another solid brother, like we said earlier, like-minded, you know, work, working for that same consolation, that same reward. You know, it only benefits you to have that around, okay? So it says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him. What? So the beginning of two or laying together. Oh, I would Yeah, he or say Yep. Yeah. Well, that reads on. And again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? All right, man. So that's like a, it's like that's evil, man. You being by yourself. So yeah, always try to. Uh, man, if you if you have to, then you have to. But most of the time, obviously, virtually 100 percent of the time, 99 percent of the time. The Lord going to pair you with at least one other right, brother. Right. Because you might need somebody to hold the camera or keep the camera secure. Remember they knocked the camera over and they did the little, little comedy shit. Right. They're winding it, they're going back and forth. But they're getting hit and they're going back and make, they make fun of us when that happens. Because yeah. they're fucking assholes. These people out in public, right. out in YouTube land, they're fucking crazy. Right. All right? So you better uh, keep a certain distance, buffer between these fucking people. All right? Mary. They haven't showed you that they are about this faith 100 percent you ain't really supposed to, to fuck with them like that all right but they had to keep coming around to build trust all right okay keep coming around like you brothers you keep coming around so you, you built a certain uh, trust trust one more three it says and if one prevail against him two shall stand two shall withstand him and a threefold cord is not quickly broken huh? All right, meaning you have a, a good line of defense. So you got one coming up against you, right? In that situation, if you have two or three, then that person's strength is easily diminished, right? Because it's a lot to try to balance everything out when you're in the heat of the battle. You know, when you're speaking and you're reading, then you're trying to grab a sign. That's why you said two or three, because you got your reader, you got your sign holder, and it strengthens your defenses. So you're able to, you know, eliminate that demon right there. You know what I'm saying? That's why these guys, they don't, they, they call the people, you know, hey, blah, 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 you know, they try to get a crowd, they try to come up against us, but it never prevails, okay? Yeah, you got some people First that... of all, we have our spiritual senses exercise, right. right? So we have experience, okay? But the Spirit gave us, you know, you know, brothers that are apt, you know? Brothers that are capable. Yeah, people that, that love you so much, they want to wanna kill you and shit, so. Yep. Keep them at a distance. You got something? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. What's the rock six and eight? If if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Right. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Right. It will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Right, yeah. So say right now, if I was to get arrested and I was the only one to get arrested, 
And I would feel like, wow, the brothers really didn't uh, defend me or protect me. That's just an evil suspicion coming in my head. You know, because I'm separated, then Satan going, you know, get in your head. Right. And then I come back and then I'm disgruntled and then I fall out. I go try to do my own thing. You know, I these, these brothers that I teach with have, have proven themselves. I know they're not going to do no foul shit like that. Huh? I know that if I get if I get arrested or captured, they're going to support me. Yep. Huh? And even if I did something wrong, I'm going to repent and they're going to defend me. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing with them. With them. If they, even if they did something wrong, I'm still going to defend defend the brother, defend the brothers. Yep. Right? You're going to make amends for whatever it was. All right. Then we're going to defend each other. Right? right. Yeah, and that's what, that's what this is saying. Uh, it says, I'm going to read this real quick again. Ecclesiastes 4 and 12. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Right. Yeah, so together you should be strong. Right. Uh, you have a higher spiritual, spiritual energy, yep. and you have higher you know, physical you know, presence. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. iron sharpened iron. All right. Yep. Uh, John, uh, are you done with that? There's a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. Yeah, a friend turned into enemies and brothers, you know about that. You know brothers that you used to be with, they turn to your enemies. Huh? You hear them talking shit about you, right in front of you. Actually. Some of you brothers had brothers, other brothers talking shit about you right in front of you. Uh, and then, uh, then y'all not together no more, you know? Uh, so you got to know the mind of the, of the brother by his actions, all right? Actions speak louder than words, all right? So the brothers keep coming around, keep coming around, you build a rapport, all right? Every, every brother, you know, you have a, a certain amount of a feeling about the brother, you know? Like when, a, when uh, the, the devil came to I can't. I never felt, well, you, you brought him in. Uh, I never felt right about that dude. Huh? I never yeah. felt right about, about Satan. You know, he's always a little weird, always a little funny. Yeah. All right, that, that was just that brother's uh, friend in the world. Yeah, he had a, uh -huh. he always had a weird glaze yeah. in his eye. Yeah, yeah. He'd he always be looking glaze. at you yeah. real weird, just staring at you. Right. He probably think he's better than you. That's why. Right. Pride. Yeah. yeah, we call I call him the greasy demon. Greasy. Yeah, my the Greasy demon. Yeah. Yeah, nope. that, I mean. Going to that that particular guy has went and rebuked elders. Yeah. You know, going back and forth, don't have to understand the apostles went and broke right. down other right. scriptures. Well, that, that's that's the them. same guy that couldn't break yeah. down Genesis 25, 25. Let me tell you right. something, man. The worst thing that you could do, the absolute worst thing in my opinion, that you could do is if you end up having a fallout with brothers, is turn around and come up against the apostles and the elders. Right, yeah. that, that is literally the worst thing that you can do. Right. Pray that the Lord don't ever give you that kind of spirit, man. That is the worst position you could possibly be in. The elders are right about everything but that one thing that you have a problem with. It's better to just hold your peace and say nothing at all, and that way you don't condemn yourself. No. Right. And people lie too. You rely on on brothers. You know, you the know? scriptures talk about not offending, you know, your brother. Right. Because you might be in danger of hellfire, man. So put put talking about the apostles and elders is putting yourself in the danger of hellfire. And you don't understand, if you at least have a good rapport, even if you might have a falling out, if you're not being disrespectful, there's a chance that those brothers might pray for you and then you get turned around. Alright? But how could they, you know, advocate for your on your behalf if you're over there talking shit and slandering and being a fucking demon? And they don't consider that. That's why I say that's a dangerous place to be in, man. Very dangerous place to be in. Yes, I'm quick. Yeah. Psalms 51 verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out my, all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O power and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And that's a precept that gives you uh, more confidence, too. So if you're feeling low, you pray for uh, for strength you know, and forgiveness. The, the, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, knows that uh, we're in vessels. 
So when you read those Psalms and you, you know, you repeat to yourself that, that you can accomplish something and not be so negative all the time, all right? Constantly repeat that you can accomplish what you said or not said not to do. And even if you fail, you just gotta look at it as a, just a minor setback. That's all it is. And then keep confirming to yourself that you, that you, that you, uh, that you can do it. Whatever oh, yeah. you set your hand to do, you can do it, you can do it. Always think positive, all right? And move forward. Right. Think positive. Yep, I'm gonna say it. Say it a lot, I'm gonna say it even more. But I don't say it enough. You've only truly failed if you've given up. Because everything else that you fail at is a learning experience, is a learning curve. You know? Hey, look, look at it this way. The more times you fail, the more times you realize what not to do. I'll tell you, just man falls seven times, get himself up. Complete amount of times, and that's gonna build up what? Experience, all right, within you. So you know what happens, you know, from that occurring, all right? And that's, of course, as uh, I believe uh, one elder brother um, went into, uh, that's a way of how Yahweh Shem Yal Shah is refining us, all right, as uh, gold is refined, all right? Because in the end, Yahweh Shem Yal Shai is uh, making champions, all right, that have the victory, all right, that are gonna emerge completely refined, all right, without any splot, uh, bl uh, blots or spots. All right, like that I brought in that, you know, to, to exterminate the various different um, sins or transgressions within us. That's what we want Yahweh Hashem uh to do for us, you know. So that's why you got to count it cheerfully when you fall in diverse temptations. All right, you know, Yahweh Hashem is dealing with you, chastising you, correcting you as he dealeth with sons. Mm -hmm. All right. The more I'm adjusting the mask, we should walk fast. Yeah, of course. The weak immune system. Uh, uh, John. Yep. This is 1st uh, John chapter 3 verse 7 it says little children let no man deceive you he that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous right read up a little bit about that so that's how you know so if you if you keep those commandments you do what you're doing the work yeah you are you are considered righteous so use that as a confidence in a, uh, a faith booster yeah. uh, a couple of verses up uh, this is uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 3. It says, every, And every man that hath his hope in him pure, purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Yes, so our hope is in Yahweh Shai. That gives, gives us the, the confidence. Good. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. So sin is transgression of the law. All right, so if you, if you uh, commit sin, that means you transgress some law. All right? This is why the Lord put us under grace, so we, we wouldn't uh, get the penalty of breaking the law, so we could be able to move uh, somewhat freely in captivity in, in other countries by Him putting us under grace like that. And, and while we're under grace, that builds us up in the knowledge of how Yahweh Shai worked, how He worked, what's the, the ins and outs, the prophecies, what to do, what not to do. Uh, but whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whos whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. It says, little children, let no man deceive you. Yeah, so we abide in Yahweh Shai, we don't sin. All right? I, I believe it says in Romans, that all, every sin that is done is without the body. All right? So the elect really can't can't sin. So all sin is done, that's that's outside the, the body of Yahweh Shai. Well. All right? That's in uh, Romans. That all sin is done. Somebody find that? Yeah. All sin that is done uh, is without the body. Uh, all right, read it again. This is First uh, John chapter three verse seven. It says, "Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous." Right. Yeah. So don't don't let that make you proud. All right. But when you need uh, you know a faith booster or or confirmation, you're doing the right thing. You're looking at your repertoire. You know you messed up. You know, look, look on the uh, the hope that the Lord is going to forgive your sins that you covered by Yahweh Shai's blood. All right, and that's where we get remission of sins. All right, the world of Israel is going to get remission of sins, not the world of all the nations on the earth. Right. Just the world of the Israelites. All right. Are you guys on? Um, yeah, I do. This is the Book of Psalm, chapter thirty-two and one. Blessed is he. 
whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Yep. Imputeth not iniquity, blessed is that man. So the elect are definitely those men whom uh, the Lord did impute uh, iniquity. Yeah, meaning he didn't lay to the charge. Right, he didn't charge you. Right, he didn't offense. charge you with the offense. Transgression. Right? And transgression means to pass over a limit. Right. So if yeah. you transgress, that means you had a limit here, and you, you broke the law, you went over the, uh, the limit, so you transgressed. Right, to be on the bounds. Right. Be on the bounds or something. Yep. That's why, so, like, in sports, right? If you go out of bounds or whatever particular cases, there's a penalty, you know? So, you know, you can think in terms of that. Yep. But it says, Bliss is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Right? Meaning your mind in of itself is pure because you have the faith and you understand the prophecies. Right? When you do mess up, you repent, you confess the fault, and you ask for strength. All right? To not do it again. All right? To do better the next time. You know, you're always advocating to do better. And that's that's the mindset that the Lord's hopeful elect has. Because you don't, you don't, nobody takes, if you're of the hopeful elect, you don't play, you don't take pleasure in the sins, uh, in the sins that you do. Alright? That's the thing. You, you, you know, you feel ashamed, you know. It might weigh in on you. But that's why you got to repent, you got to confess it. Then you got to move on, you got to move forward. Like I used to quote it, uh, just man fall down seven times. Now that's not an excuse to sin willingly, all right? But there's certain, you know, certain situations that are gonna happen, all right? You're gonna mess up and you do gotta pray for the Lord to forgive you, to have mercy on you, okay? And you do your best not to repeat that mistake. You gotta move forward. That's why um, another brother can hold, um, make thy calling and election short, all right? You gotta be diligent. Now the word diligent means to be constant in your effort, no matter what uh, you no know, position you're in, no matter what level of difficulty. That includes yourself, because the one, per the main person really preventing you from accomplishing anything is you. So, like the brother said, to build that confidence back up, you got to take to the scriptures, okay? You got to consider your faith. your understanding of prophecy, and pray, and fast. Hey, brothers, you know, you gotta fast, you know? That's a good, that's a good reset button. Tap back into the spirit, you know? Go ahead, uh. Quick reset. Right, the Book of Lamentations, chapter three, and this is going to be verse 22. Let's start at, well, I'll make it quick. Let's start at verse uh, 22. And it says, It is of Yahweh's mercies that we are not consumed. All right? It's of the Lord's, of course, mercy that we're not consumed. All right? So, you have to understand it. This is uh, beyond us or what we can do on our own. All right. We of course are have a, a covering. All right, which is uh, the blood or the dam or of, of Yahweh Shai. All right. Which, like I said, he, he, he by his stripes we were healed anyway. All right. That's where we have, of course, uh, this refreshing going back to life. You know, Hayat. All right. Now it continues on and it reads. Because his compassions fail not, okay, and we have to understand that our our Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai is very uh, tender, tender loving, uh, very uh, merciful, all right, unto us, all right. Which that was uh, Racham in the Hebrew, which um, let me see, uh, they don't really have much, but basically goes into pity, all right. You know, the Lord is, uh, pities us, all right. So you know, you got, you kind of, well, you have to not know, condemn yourself, all right. When you, of course, buy, and it's true, okay? But we got, of course, that covering of Hamashiach, all right? How shall I not going back on the other cross, on the cross another time, all right? So we have to really fully embrace that because, you know, you have times when you'll you be in the flesh and then 
you be like, oh man, I, I, you know, this has happened, all right? It's out of my control. Hey, we're, that's a condition of the flesh. That's why we, of course, have Yahweh Shai that's going to come back, all right, and give us a new body, and we don't have to deal with, of course, this flesh anymore, and its weaknesses and infirmities and such. We're going to have complete perfection, all right? Um, yeah, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. It's a constant, it's a constant struggle. That's why even Paul said that that I would do, I do not. <laughs> so he told you everything that you need to know. You be trying to do your best to do good, you know. You got, you got a temptation come up, a desire come up, you know. And sometimes, if you're not careful, you be holding to it. You know what I mean? And brother got their different vices, whatever it is. Each man is different, but each brother got a daily struggle with that one particular thing. Or a few particular things that be picking at, at their brain all day. Just fucking harping on it, you know, trying to sway you. Yeah, just do it, man. Just, you know it's going to feel good. You know you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know how Satan works. And sometimes it's just your own mind. What does it say about the heart? The heart is desperately wicked. That's why we need new bodies. Because this body is still subject to, to spirits, all right, and, and evil. And we don't want that. That's the thing. You be thinking, man, why the fuck am I even thinking this way? Why the fuck am I even in that... I don't want to be, I don't want none of that shit, man. You literally cry to the Most High to be perfect. But we, the thing of it is, is right now, we only got perfection through Yahweh Shai. Other than that, everything else is covered through grace. Otherwise, we wouldn't make it. Even the Lord would say that. We wouldn't make it. See, He had to become a sacrifice for us. So again, this is just a reminder, you know, like the brother said, don't condemn yourself, don't beat, beat yourself up. All right? Make your calling and election sure by being diligent. Make use of your talents. That's why I was harping on the prophecies. This brother said it too. Okay? You got to put this to use. So putting it to use is like the parable of the talents. If you got the word in you, you got the prophecies in you, then you need to teach. What did Apostle Gabar say recently during the Day of Atonement? The Lord's word shall not come back to him void. Every time you speak a prophecy, this man's kingdom goes down. Yo, that, when he said that in the spirit, man, something just, and the thing of it is, it's not that I haven't heard that before, but we coming in serious times. I'll tell you what, when, when the apostle said that in the spirit, my dial went, went all the way up. And that's how it should be. When, when at the, 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 the further we come into these evil times, the, 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 the more fire you should have. And if you lack that fire, you need to fast, you need to pray fervently. I'm not talking about just one prayer, daily, until the Lord deliver it. And then once he brings it, all right, and he increases you, you pray that he keeps you in that spirit. Go ahead. And it's uh, Romans chapter 7, verse 24, all right, it reads, it says, Oh, wretched man! that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Right. Again, if you continue to sin, it could ultimately lead to death. The body even itself is subject to sickness. That equals death. This is a chain of darkness. All right? That's why we need new bodies where they're incorruptible. You know, they can't be perverted. You can't be swayed into doing something that isn't right or that's against the most high. And these bodies, you could very easily be persuaded to do the wrong thing. It's too easy. And then, of course, we're in the most wickedest kingdom of all. And evil lays at every side. Hence, being the valley of the shadow of death. Even when you don't... See, a lot of it's happening in our subconscious. These billboards, these buildings, they're all carrying a vibration, bro. All carrying a vibration. And whether you realize it or not, you're consuming these things. You're, the music, too. You got to be watching what music you're listening to. It might feel good to listen to you jamming, but a lot of that frequency is really affecting your spiritual. That's why sometimes out of nowhere, all of a sudden, you get low in the spirit, you get depressed. Like, man, why the fuck am I so depressed? Because you just consumed all that bullshit, man. What do you think is going to happen? That's why these days... That's why, that's why, you know, like me personally, I might listen to a song 
you know, that I know got a good beat, got a good rhythm. But then, like, after so while, it's like, I got, I can't listen to this no more, man. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or whatever, or, or just carries a too low of a vibration for me. It's like, nah, I, I'm not about to be in this spirit. You see, that's another thing too. You gotta, you gotta tell yourself, nah. You can't be riding every emotional wave. You can't be giving in to all these different uh, thoughts and emotions. You gotta literally, you gotta literally deny it. You gotta literally rebuke it until it resonates that it, it, it no longer has control over you. But a lot of times the thought enters into your mind, it lingers there for a while, and then you start to pay it attention, you start to pay it mind, and then it overtakes you. So the, the thing that you want to do immediately following those thoughts is you got to rebuke, you got to pray, pray without ceasing, okay? You can't be beholden onto it, otherwise it is going to overwhelm you and it's going to stress you out, and it's going to cause you to do things that you don't want to do. All right. Uh, verse 25, I think the Most High through, which is Yahweh through, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of the Most High, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Right, so the whole point is, is you got to uh, keep your spirit on spiritual things in order to combat the flesh. Last precept. Uh, yeah, Lamentations 3 and 23. And it says, and this is speaking about the Lord's compassions, it says, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Okay? So the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshua, his mercies are renewed every morning. All right? So when you wake up in the morning, all right, that's a refresher. You know, that's why you feel so bright, you know, in the morning as the sun rises. You know? So, you know, we, of course, you gotta ever remind ourselves, you know, because you got Satan completely always trying to make us feel worse, condemn yourself, make you feel like you ain't nothing, you know, make you feel like, I don't feel like this, but sometimes Satan will make you feel like, yeah, man, Lord gonna destroy your ass, you know what I mean? But, but that's true. Wait a minute. Uh, when, Satan, when Satan tempted Yahweh Shai, what was Satan tempting him with? The scriptures. <laughs> and that could happen. You start condemning yourself through the yep. scriptures, like, oh yeah. shit, you know? Yep. That's an, that's another tactic. See, yeah. this thing is heavy, man. Yes, yes, it's spiritual warfare. This thing is heavy. Yeah. So where Satan can't get you, you know, where you can easily say, ah, nah, that ain't true, and Satan be like, okay, well, what about this precept? Right. <laughs> like, say, oh, what? what about this precept? Then you you did that, right? Okay, so now what? You know? That's why you got you got to constantly be feeding your spirit and tap into the spiritual at all times. Because then if you start, you know, listening to what Satan's trying to do, yeah, then guess what? Yeah, you're going you're gonna to fall to it. You're going to fall to it. You're going to fall. Hey, you're going to lose your confidence. You're going to be unmotivated. You're being idle. Right? Being idle. Right? Lazy. And, and the best thing you can do is... Be more productive in the spirit, man. And and really, there's no time to waste. The, the, the only time we have is to be occupied in prophecy and meditating on the laws and the precepts. There is no time to be doing anything else. That's, that's it. The end is speaking. So we need to get more into the habit of tapping into the spiritual, all right, and, and less of the flesh as much as possible. Go ahead. You good, man. <laughs> this is uh, the, the volume or Psalms chapter 16 and 5. It says, Yahweh is my por is the portion of mine inheritance. And yeah, you gotta pray that the Lord strengthen your mind. Brothers don't pray enough. That's that brothers don't pray enough. Go ahead. Yeah, right. yeah it says the Lord is the portion of mine inheritance. Okay? In of my cup, thou maintainest my lot. You no, know, so Yahweh Shem Yahshai actually makes sure that we endure, you know, within our what? Our, de our destiny, yeah, our lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright? Okay, good. We're going to follow it up with that. Then. Go ahead, Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> and it says, uh, verse uh, 6, it says, The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yeah, I have a goodly heritage. And we do. You know, we are the righteous. All right? That is, of course, of our, our heritage. Us being Israelites makes us of the righteous. Of the right, not no of the, the, the left. All right, we ain't on the left hand side as Esau, all right, these other heathen nations. All right, so again, these are shorties. I keep saying, putting on uh, these promises, these vows. All right, you gotta always remember these are promises. The Lord, He's not a man that she, he should lie. Right. All right, so hey, you know, we gotta embrace the victory. That's it. Huh? Three seconds. Okay. Uh, hold on. Like it, brother. I want him to read this just real quick because this is since this is the brother saying you got to embrace the victory. Well, this is the mindset that you got to cultivate right here. Read, read. This is Second Peter chapter one verse ten. So you want to know? Okay, so you said all that. How do we? How how, how does it apply? How is it applicable? Read. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if he do these things. He shall never fail. Or if you do these things, you shall never fail. Now get the word for diligence. So in the Greek, uh, in the blue letter, the word for diligence in Greek is uh, spadazo. And it means to hasten, to haste, to exert. Oneself to exert oneself. Go ahead. Labor, study, labor. Remember, this thing is all about laboring. Paul regarded this uh, walk a fight. So you need to actually put that energy into the ministry. Okay, you can't, you know, falter, all right, or fall. If you're actually putting up some sort of resistance, so you need to put up that resistance. Stand, you got to stand firm. Endeavor. Being constant in your effort. To make effort. Exactly, to make effort. And it actually means to put a constant effort, because when you're exerting something, you're putting a force in a particular direction. All right? And that's how this walk is. You have energy opposing the way you're trying to go. But hey, that's the that's the, that's the fight that we fight. Even though you have resistance from on, on all sides, right? You walk it in a position of difficulty. Things are trying to diminish your strength. You know, you still got to push forward no matter what. But you got something else, real quick? All right, just real quick, go ahead, read. It's uh, Ecclesiasticus 2 and 9. Oh, you said you had one. He that fear the Lord hope for good there you go. and for everlasting joy and mercy. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, if you fear the Lord, okay, we're supposed to have a, a little positive. bit of... Okay. You fear Yahweh okay, you have to have a, basically a positive mindset. It says hope for good, so you're supposed to expect the most I can help you, you know? You're supposed to be uh, positive. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So Luke uh, 22, Luke 22, 28, ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appointed unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Here's the point, Luke 22 and 31, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. They, he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for thee, he said by prayer, that they that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. So the whatever you went through, you know, you convey that same spirit to your brother so it can positively affect the rest of the group. Alright? And Satan definitely he, he wanna see us uh all Go off from the from the proper path to what the Lord set us on. Satan had desire to have you, so that's a common thing amongst the uh, the prophets. Yeah, the Satan, hopeful elect. Satan's always uh, right there next to you. Uh, he never goes away. Never goes away. You can't pray Satan away. That's it. But only for uh, particular moments. 
Right. But then he comes back. So you can't completely get rid of Satan ever. Yeah. The only way that's yeah. going to happen is when right. we get those bodies. Right. Get the new bodies. That, that's the only way. That's why brothers are saying, don't beat yourself up. So it's a condition of the battle, in other words. You know, but there are ways to improve yourself. There are ways to strengthen yourself. And as long as you're equipped with those uh, spiritual weapons, you're more able to stand against these things. And in the event that you fall, you know how to rebound. You don't stay there. Because the latter end of that precept that we both read and quoted several times now, is the righteous getteth back up. He don't fall into mischief, meaning he don't stay down and continue down that road. That's that constancy and effort. All right, I fucked up. Still got it, there's still work to be done. I'm breathing, I'm alive. I got the prophecies, I got the word, I gotta make use of it. And in hopes and doing so, may the Lord have mercy on me and save me. That's what you gotta tell yourself, man. That's what you gotta tell yourself. Right, right, right after uh, Peter, the Lord said that to Peter, the Lord said that uh, Peter was going to deny him right after he said oh, pray yeah. for him. Oh, yeah. So when you when, when brothers pray for other brothers, that don't mean you're going to be without sin completely. It just means that you ain't going to fall for truth if you're of the elect, obviously. Right, right, but right. But Peter still sinned. He denied the Lord. That, that's that's the sin. He denied, he denied the Lord. Yeah. You know? The Lord said himself that you, if you deny me, I'm going to deny you before the Father. And Peter denied Yahweh Shai. Huh? But he did that publicly. But Peter really still believes. He didn't just uh, right. throw the. Uh, he just publicly denied. Him. Right. But he didn't actually. He didn't, he didn't deny him in the spirit. In the spirit. Because he, he always believed in the Lord. He, he never stopped believing in the Lord. Huh? Yeah. As a matter of fact, that's what gets you to stand back up in the first place. Is your faith in the Lord? 